my son said is I don't want daddy to die. Shiaka McIntosh isn't sure if her son Marcus actually witnessed his father's brutal murder. She does know her son was his father's life. We don't even see a lot of black men with their kids, and this man gets killed while he's with his child. McIntosh tells News Center 5 the man murdered today behind a Mattapan barbershop is Marcus Hall. Sources say the 31 year old was shot six times, twice in the head. The gunman still on the run. Detectives and firefighters slowly walking on a rooftop looking for that weapon used. McIntosh searching for answers. For another black man to kill another black man, it's just really getting ridiculous. It's getting, it's out of control. McIntosh says Hall brought their son for a haircut, has no idea why he was shot. The four year old was unhurt, rushed out of the shop by a barber as the thunder of gunfire erupted. I'm too late today and I'm, and I'm devastated as I'm talking to you, sir. Too late because Carol Smith was on his way to the barber shop to speak with its patrons about the violence happening on these very streets. Smith is a community activist who works to end tragedies like today's. And I'm trying to encourage young men to, to, to join, and, and the people in general, just to join the peacekeepers and help try to curb this violence. A brutal assault just steps away from an innocent child. Marcus Hall killed in a manner McIntosh says he preached against. The number one thing that man loved was black unity. The midday shooting happened with an earshot of the Mattapan Dorchester neighborhood police station, which sits about 100 yards from the crime scene. Live in Mattapan tonight, I'm Reed Lamberty, WCVB News Center 5.